of dreamers we have covered quite a few videos helping dreamers focus on what they do best which is achieving their dream but somehow there's still something missing here something that paralyzes us completely and puts us in an empty hole of complete nothingness and the worst thing about it is it stresses us out to the max as we are bombarded by the amount of information that we're receiving here and there we have developed a syndrome clinically known as FOMO curious to know what it is? well let me tell you FOMO is the fear of missing out missing on things, news, opportunities and even gossip which may or may not are relevant to what we want or what we want to achieve I stumbled myself in an article in Forbes magazine where the author shared her story when she was a little girl. She asked her dad to buy her a TV subscription just because her friends were discussing TV shows Daddy, in school. Daddy, I want Netflix. Her dad refused that option because he wanted her to play outside and read books instead. No girl, you have to play outside. <laughs> Some of you might argue saying, poor that little girl. Perhaps her dad caused her to be so antisocial when it comes discussing celebrities and such. But in reality, he knew that her request was not based on what she really needed, rather was a temporary desire inflicted by her own peers. Thank you, Halo. Goodbye. As how little that example could be, for me, that is a classic FOMO. He doesn't even know how to send text messages. Do you know what makes you afraid from FOMO? What makes you afraid from FOMO? FOMO. You know what makes you afraid of FOMO? Is our designs are not made up of what we actually want. Instead, they're influenced by the constant need to log into our social media accounts. That, that sense of belonging just exhilarates us and makes us think that we are accomplishing wonders where in fact we are not. Usually my cousin would ask me this question. Uncle, can you elaborate more about what FOMO really is in real life? Well, have you been in the situation where you were in school and you heard that one of your friends been, I don't know, in this spectacular university and he tells you about his amazing experiences in that university. In your mind, you would be like, oh, I want to really join that university or really visit that university. But in reality, if you think about it, it's not you that you want to experience that university. It's just because you have heard the amazing experiences that happened in that university and you're afraid of missing out on those experiences. And this is exactly what FOMO really is. So I'm leaving you with the following question. Are the things you really want to buy, have, or even acquire are contributing to your own good? Or they are just influenced by, I don't know, advertisement, peer pressure, even your parents. Importantly, are the elements of your future business, career, or even your hobbies are made of your own desires or influenced by others? If you have answers to those questions and if you ever experience FOMO in your life, please let us know in the comments section below on how you actually managed to overcome that feeling in your own way. I am one of the dreamers. My name is Mushroom Mazawi. Don't forget to like share and subscribe let's see you guys you know that your request was not a desire to consider oh before i go let me just say if any one of you guys want to join me in one of those videos just like my friends did you can text me on the links that are presented in the videos there you have youtube facebook uh twitter instagram and snapchat if any one of you guys are interested just text me there and we can cooperate together